No go do me Johnny, no oh. I beg you do me Sarah Make I do you a bribe Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So I'm so, so, so happy. Like, I can't even explain. I'm actually so happy to be filming this video because I haven't sat down and filmed a video like this in like what? I think two months or over two months. I've just not had proper time for my YouTube. But then today I was like, you know what? I'm going to film no matter what. I am going to film. So yeah, today's video is going to be like a life update Let you guys know what has been happening with me I know I've been vlogging But I haven't been vlogging proper Because a lot has happened A lot has been going on with me Before I started posting like my other videos I just thought it would be nice to make like a life update video And just let you guys know what's been up with me And I haven't sat down and talked to you guys like this for a while So it's quite exciting And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today So let's get right into this so video guys, Today I'm going to be doing my makeup while I talk to you guys I'm going to be using this Lydia Stanley palette You guys can see mine is not the neatest That's because I haven't used it on my channel before But then I'm going to be using it today This is not my first time using it This is just my first time using it on my channel so I'm going to start off by priming my face And I'll be using this I'll be using this Be Charm Ageless Stay Matte Sweat Free Face Primer. I'm going to be starting with my face prep today. I want my face to be glowing from within. I'm going to be using this Gerard Cosmetics BB Illumination Plus. I'll be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And my shade is New Caledonia. So, in case you don't watch my vlogs or if you haven't been up to date with my vlogs i mentioned in one of my vlogs that i started a business that's apart from like my killer beauty business in case you don't know in july i started my personal business like my my own brand my own beauty brand it feels so weird saying that but then yeah i started my own beauty brand and i currently have lip glosses lashes um, lash applicators and lip scrubs um, that's what we have right now and we're currently having Black Friday now I don't know if it will be over by the time this video is up and after Black Friday we won't be restocking until next year because we're rebranding we're coming out with new packaging new everything so you guys should go and support and get it at very cheap affordable prices literally 50% off this period um, you guys should go and grab yourself some I have a lot of things that are already selling out guys like I'm so excited about this Black Friday but yeah so in July I started my own my business and that has been going well so far and when I started that business I was able to balance um, that business with YouTube and school and everything that I was going that I had going on well like it wasn't very easy but then it was it wasn't impossible for me to balance it. It was possible and I was doing it. So <laughs> it's so hard doing my makeup and talking, but then we're going to do this. But I was doing it and it was going well. I also started this other business on the side. I am currently running this business anonymously, like you not know, like I don't want anybody to know that I own it, but then it was almost like no need. Like it's not like until I put my name on this business before I will sell. No. I started this business and I didn't have any followers. Fed it for the first day and then I was talking to my man and he was like maybe you should run an instagram ad i was like okay you know what let me run an instagram ad so i ran an instagram ad and in less than 24 hours i sold out so take note i sold out with less than 40 followers so by the time i sold out i think i was up like 45 um followers and then like my phone was blowing up people were asking is this still available is that still available but then i didn't get a lot because i didn't know that this business was going to go like this that was when i understood that demand was extremely high and there was low, literally no supply or like low supply so i was like so this is real so this I, I, I couldn't believe that that was happening so it was time for me to restock like so i was like you know what i'm going to go into this with full force i everything i made from the business literally everything i made from the business i put it back into the business and i got more stuff like i think when i said at first i got for just like 50 people this time i got for like what 200 people 
I put all my money into it, all the money I made from it. I put my whole YouTube paycheck for that month into it. Like, I know my, I have a rule that at least 30% of my YouTube earnings, I always like invest it back to my YouTube. If I have any need for YouTube, like I always invest it back to um, my YouTube. But then this time around, because I knew that this was a good one, I put my whole YouTube paycheck into this business and yeah i ordered for more stuff from china and they came and i sold i sold out in i think four days yeah i sold out in like four days with this this time it was without an ad because when i said this page like i'm sure youtube said like recommending my page and let's say i keep saying youtube <laughs> instagram like um they recommending my page to other people like people that were interested in this and all of that and this is how like other people were getting to know, know about my page and i was getting you know a lot of customers so one thing with this business is that this business is going to take your time i'm somebody that sleeps really early normally by 10 p.m you're not going to find me awake i'm already sleeping um because i wake up very early too because i just like to wake up early and have a productive day so by 10 it was when I used to post like makeup tutorials, like I would literally sleep and set an alarm to post by 12. Like I sleep very early. You wouldn't, what am I doing up in the night, honestly? I sleep very really early because I just like to have productive days because I feel like when I wake up early, I have more productive days. So. But this business literally changed my sleeping schedule because most people that buy from me, it's either they go to work or they go to school. So they are most active in the night when they come back. So like I, my sales start booming by like five, six, seven, yeah. Or early in the morning, like by six, seven, yeah. That's when like I have sales the most. So my sleeping schedule was like a mess. I used to sleep very late. Like sometimes I'll sleep by three because okay i had to be up talking to vendors too because morning in china is like 1 a.m 2 a.m here um so i had to be up talking to vendors that was happening people were also talking to me it was very stressful it's, it's something that you have to be talking to people um like you have to spend a lot of time like texting people explaining this to people telling that to people because people will ask a lot of questions because if you're putting your money into something they want to know what it's about they want to ask a lot of questions so um I was always on my phone and then my phone crashed that's one thing that happened my phone crashed and then when i went to fix my phone okay okay no that's that's not what happened let me tell you guys what happened um my phone was already like acting up because i was always my screen time went up my screen time like doubled because i was always on my phone talking to people so like my battery was getting weak i was using my iphone x then so i was like you know what let me just go and change this phone <laughs> so i went to change my phone the day that I went to change my phone, you guys, I was supposed to drop my phone and then like trade it, not trade it, like drop my phone, add money, and then get the phone that I'm using right now. You guys know how they do that thing now. So when I got to the shop, like when I got to the shop, my phone just stopped coming on. <laughs> like my phone just did not come on again. So like I was going to save myself a whooping, like almost 200K from my phone because I was using like the iPhone X 256 gig, like is high storage and i was going to save myself like 200k <laughs> by dropping that phone but my phone crashed and it was honestly it was because of that business because i was always like i was literally always on my phone so like i had to pay for the new phone that i got so i got a new phone like this time around i was like you know what i have to like separate work and this so i got i opened a website for that business like so that people will just be placing orders from there but you know the way nigerians are nigerians don't believe in website so they want to talk to you if they we allow them they want to call you and know what you're getting okay these things are not cheap you're spending a lot of money and if i'm spending a lot of money like even myself i might not buy a website except it's from abroad if it's in nigeria i might not buy a website because I don't want anybody to cheat me, do you get? That's what has built me up in me. Like every time I sell out, um, I have to deal with um, shipping. Some people, most people that order from me are Lagos, Portacos, Calabar, Abuja. So most people are used to ordering from people in Lagos. And when you order in the morning, you know that your stuff are getting to you in like two hours. But I'm like, no, you need to understand that the shipping is going to take about three to four working days. So you just need to chill. But people are just blowing up my phone. Hope you didn't scam me. When am I getting my things? Me, I don't like this kind of thing. No, I'm like, I put it clearly. Like, shipping is three. Like, if you want to start a business, you have to be ready to deal with customers. Like, people will 
people will frustrate you but then like i just learned to be patient because i need your money you need my product so and i need your money the most so yeah so yeah that has been going on with me i announced this in one of my videos a couple of you think your investigation skills are mad and you come to that my business page and you're like oh i think you're serial killer are you serial killer i will not answer you if you know i am the one that's your business it doesn't stop me from making my money <laughs> so that's what has been up with me and i'm currently preparing for black friday i'm having black friday right now for my killer beauty um and another thing with that business is that that business opened more streams of income for me so it, it opened like more businesses for me on that, that business okay let me explain i don't know how to explain but just know on that, that business i have like three other businesses that i'm doing i coach people um i have i run classes i just finished running a class now it was a three days class and i just finished running a class now so that takes my time. I have to create PDFs. I have to create videos. I have to talk to people. And in that class, in my class, sometimes I have about 30 people. And people ask questions. People are asking questions. Like, so I'm always on my phone answering this, 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 this that. <clears throat> so that's what has been up with me. Okay, since I started a business in August, I've had four restocks. And this one I'm about to do is the fifth one, which is Black Friday. So that's how it has been going. I'm so grateful to God. Don't get me wrong. I'm so grateful to God. And I'm so grateful to God for this because, like, you guys this has affected me in so many ways it has affected my social life you guys see that i barely even post on youtube again now the one way they give you money where you go focus your mind <laughs> don't get me wrong but i know that if i put the work and the time i put into this business into youtube i know that i can make i don't want to say the same amount but maybe almost the same amount but this business I'll be cashing out, baby. There are some things that I didn't just think would be possible. Something like, okay, me going to buy my phone. I know that I would trade in. Normally, if I'm going to get my phone, it's the exact money I have. I'm going. But then, imagine my phone crashing and me just being able to. Oh, okay, that's no problem. And just pick the phone and go like me. When? Since who so gave me that money? Do you guys know how long it took me to save for my MacBook? And it's just crazy now, like the independence I've got, gotten for myself. And yeah, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not close to where I want to be. But then I just believe that. Yeah. So let me just quickly do the rest of my face. Then I'll come back and we'll continue talking. I just set my face. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking white. I promise. Like my face is looking normal here. But then like I think it's because my eyes are up. I honestly don't feel like doing my eyebrows. Like I get so lazy to do my brows, you guys. You guys don't even know. Like I just want to do eyeshadow and go. I'll do eyeshadow first. Right now, I have time. Um, I have, I kind of have time because I'm waiting for my stuff to arrive. I have a couple of stuff that I can start selling, but then no, I just want to start my Black Friday properly. So I'm just waiting for my remaining stuff to arrive. So I start. You guys, whether I like it or not, I love YouTube. YouTube is, YouTube is the one that has helped me basically do everything that I can do today. Like I feel like me starting this business was because I watched so much YouTube. The videos I watch the most on YouTube are like motivational, inspirational. Videos. Those are one of the um, most videos I watch on YouTube. Like me watching anything. Okay, of course I watch my favorite YouTubers. I watch vlogs and everything. like because I want to learn from people. You get what I mean. But then I watch a lot of patricia bright she's like one of my biggest inspirations i feel like so many things i've done today is because of one thing that i've heard her say one thing that she has said that has just pushed me she is such an inspiration oh my god i don't know how to explain but yo like she's one of my biggest inspirations i've literally watched all the videos on the blick <laughs> the blick the brick platform when i finally decided that i wanted to start a business i used a couple of tips that i learned from her and other business owners of course I feel like that has helped me a whole lot i'm going to start making i'm going to make a couple i'm not changing my channel to a business channel no but then i'm going to make a couple of business um videos that i have learned tips that have helped me and all of that so yes i need to check my notes because i wrote down some things i want to see make it i'll make videos i'll tell you guys like tips that helped me mistakes i made that i don't want to repeat in business and all of that like like literally every day i learn lessons literally every day i learn lessons it has i am one impatient person like if you want to do anything with me i will just cut you off i will just block you 
but <laughs> people just have told me to be patient customer is always right like if you like insult me you're very stupid i'm like yes thank you no problem and sometimes like it, i have i kind of have the option to be rude to them because i know that you need my product so it's either you buy it or you go but then i still have to be polite because at the end of the day i need your money give me your money <laughs> so i need to change my battery this one is low change my battery and yeah so as much as i've said a lot of good things about this business and all of that there are also quite a number of disadvantages and downs and all of that so yeah this has affected my youtube it's almost like i can't it's almost impossible to balance them trust me like it's either you give full attention to one but then i'm just trying to learn to strike a balance between the both of them i'm really trying my best to learn because youtube is also a passion of mine like i love youtube everywhere that i've got seen myself today is because of youtube it's because of god but you guys get what i mean when i say it was through youtube it was it's like youtube that opened like doors like other things or whatever it is that i do now so and i still love youtube like i'm not tired of youtube i don't think i'll ever get tired of youtube at least yet i don't know so i just know that my youtube still deserves deserves my attention and i mean you guys are the ones that support me so i can't just go offline and because of what so yeah it was just very hard to balance it and it also affected me in school i will be awake for so long trying to um do whatever it is and when it's time for me to like have my classes i'll be sleeping because i'm exhausted it got to a point that i wasn't going to bed like every normal person like a shower and mm, maybe use my phone and then sleep no it wasn't like that it was almost every day i was literally passing out like i'm passing out from being tired from packing others from preparing stuff from from texting all day on my phone from people stressing me out from me um going back and forth with the delivery guys or me going back and forth with delivery or me going back and forth with the people in china that are supposed to send my things like it was always one thing or another it was always one stress or another nothing in this country can ever go smoothly nothing can ever be done in order like literally nothing people always want money want them to bribe you i paid for shipping bring my stuff you still want me to bribe you on top to bring me and my own things <laughs> You see, I'll pay for shipping when it should get to my customers. My customers paid me for shipping and I paid the person sending it. When you get there, you don't ask the person to pay you again. It, it's just a whole lot. So I had to like find a balance, find a logistic com logistics company that works for me proper and doesn't give me problems. Like they actually do what they say they do. So it was a lot. And for school, it affected me <laughs> in my school. I'm still having some thoughts like, is school even necessary? Do I even need school? I'm doing well for myself already. Like school is just one of those things that is just taking my time when I'm supposed to be doing my business, blah, blah, blah. Like, of course, those kind of thoughts came to my head, but then honestly, like just, and you know that it's not so easy for me because like, my mates are in class, are going to class in, <laughs> look at my brows guys. I just wish I, this wasn't like a makeup video. I didn't know it was going to be this hard to do my makeup and talk. But yeah, let's see how that goes. I think um, it's easier for like my mates that are in school, but then I feel like it's harder for those of us that are home. I see if it's not enough that um, the time difference is a lot. Like just imagine the other things that I had. If I could even balance it with YouTube, school was just like something that oh my god i have to do this yes i have this assignment or i have this class i got disqualified from one of my exams i'm not proud to say this or anything but i got disqualified from one of my exams because my attendance was like really poor and you you need to attend i think i think you need to attend at least three lectures so imagine me not attending <laughs> up to three because of how it's not like i didn't want to like time difference is a lot and i don't have any excuse honestly i have an excuse this shouldn't be an excuse because school should be number one and everything but honestly like when you know what you want for your life school is almost like just an obstruction but please i'm not advising anybody to do what i'm doing it's almost like my last semester not this semester last semester like was like a good semester it wasn't an easy balancing school but then i was able to do it and yeah i was able to do it like it wasn't that hard i did it but this time around imagine all the things i had going on with me and then school was just one of them and i wasn't even there physically it was online school so me seeing that thing like 
you know how it's just like everything was going smoothly and then you just see your name among the people that are disqualified from my exam because your attendance has been trashed i was just like oh my god this is not good this is this is not good so i just had to you know i'm honestly doing my best now like i can't kill myself at the end of the day like i can't kill myself but it's china we're all going to finish by god's grace hopefully like the way things are going now like those dropout thoughts are just in my head i can't even lie to you guys it's almost inevitable because hmm. last semester was like when i started having a passion for my course i was like oh this i was finding out interesting things about what i do <laughs> sorry i don't know why i put this in my mouth i was finding out interesting things about like the course that i was doing and it was just like mm, yeah so this can i can do this i can do this i can branch into this field that field but then i think i want to be a full-time youtuber and business owner right now <laughs> yeah so that's what has been helping me it has affected my life like a lot of ways bad ways as well as good ways like a lot of good ways and i'm so grateful to god but the bads are also there i can't lie I me mean, i don't know what's going on with my makeup today that's what's been helping me that's what's been taking my time um of course a lot of times i feel very lonely because if you guys don't know i don't have a lot of friends i don't have a lot of friends i barely even i had to deactivate my personal instagram for like two weeks because i couldn't have time for it not posting on your personal instagram you know like your engagement goes down like people unfollow you and all of that and like sometimes when i just go to instagram and i see other creators posting and doing well like my bag is has not stopped coming i'm still getting my bag in other ways but then it just makes me sad that i can't really do what i want to do the way i want to do it like with the freedom i want to do it with like because i'm so occupied doing another thing but yeah so i deactivated my instagram for i think about two weeks i that deactivation like twice because it's just the best thing for my mental health i'm not trying to be comparing myself to anybody or trying to make myself be <laughs> i say be feel bad because i'm not posting or because i'm not getting any sponsorship or anything it doesn't stop me from getting my bag i'm getting my bag regardless it's just that it's in a different way which i still love what i did was that i got extra hands i got extra hands and wow i'm using this gerard cosmetics lip something I got extra hands and like i got people to help me actually i just got one person to help me to be honest and I just got one person to help me but then right now i'm really looking into getting like two more people to help me like extra hands so that i'm not doing this alone and so i have time for my youtube for my school work and all of that so i'm looking to add like two extra hands of course i'll be paying it's not for free <laughs> even the one hand that i have right now i'm paying and the amount of work like this workload is not small i think i've done a vlog on it and you guys have seen my boyfriend my sister my cousin were helping that was before like i finally am um, got like one hand to be helping but right now everybody else trust me everybody else has their own business nobody has time to come and be helping me every time this was just because like i didn't i was alone and i didn't have anybody to help and that was like around the beginning stages when this business was like coming for me coming for me so i just need that i needed hands to like assist me so they helped me but of course they can't continue helping me every day every week every time i restock no they also have their own shit going on for them so that's basically all that has been helping me honestly and yeah so i'm in the process of looking for hands to assist me and because i really want to be uploading consistently in december i don't want i'm using my killer beauty lip gloss yeah and this is in the shade sassy it's one of my new shades i'm currently having black friday sales and my glosses are going for 1k each so you guys should take advantage spoil yourself spoil your girl spoil your mom spoil anybody with some of my glasses it's kind of ugly lip combo is this that i did what's this lip liner honestly just the gloss that's making it better um like i said what made me go off of youtube for a very long time is just that i didn't expect the pressure that came with this like the pressure came i didn't expect it to 
come at me like this and it just came so that was one of the reasons why i just went off of youtube for a while and um, i'm going to be making it a lot more business videos because business is a very good thing to start even if you have a job or anything i just feel like having like a side business or having like a side hustle is going to save you in the long run and you never know how many doors this can open to you and what this can do to you how this can change your life i thought youtube changed my life until i met killer beauty i thought killer beauty changed my life until i met this other business that i'm doing so it's just like the um the possibilities are endless <laughs> yeah the possibilities are endless like you just never know and you just never know i'm using killer beauty lashes in the style scorpio these are going for only 2000 naira this black friday and these lashes can be reused up to 25 times you guys my packaging everything is like a1 so for me to sell this thing to you at 2000 naira that's a steal let me know what business videos you guys want me to do like let me tell you something about me and i feel like even the people in my class like the classes that i've been running have been saying it and i am never selfish with if there's one thing i know i'm not selfish with is the knowledge i have on what has helped but then right now i feel like there's a lot of uncertainty for me because i'm not done with school and at any time china can tell me to go back to school like at any time they can literally just say oh start coming back or anything like it can just be like all my plans are shattered all my plans are ruined and in case you're wondering what my plan is for when when i'm back in china like with my business and everything don't worry i have a plan for that um i have already planned like every time i'm running this business i'm always thinking like when i go back what's going to happen whatever yeah i'm still going to be running my businesses all of them from china and those to be running fine by god's grace in nigeria i don't know if i'm not said anything Please let me know what business related videos you guys want to see Ooh. oh my god like my eyelash glue got into my eyes Ooh. right now i'm having black friday for killer beauty so lashes are going for two thousand my lip gloss is going for one thousand my lip scrub my lash applicators are going for 500 my lip scrub is going for 750 yeah it's 50 percent off for everything the lashes is 40 percent off so yeah, that's it. My lashes are never staying well, but then I know that I'm going to clean my face and just remove this whole makeup right now because I just wanted to film a life update and I'm going to start editing this video like right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any business related videos that you want to see from me or anything you want to see from me or any questions you have for me, please leave them in the comment section below. You guys have probably noticed that I haven't been replying to my Instagram DMs. It's not because I don't want to. A lot of the questions that you guys come to my DMs with, I already have a video on that. And I don't say I find it annoying, but then it's almost like, I think you should just like actually watch a video till the end before you start asking questions about something. Because you literally watch a video for like two minutes. And I said something in like the eighth minute. And then you ask me about that thing that I already said. So yeah. If you have to do with starting a business or consultation or anything, please send me an email and please be specific. Don't tell me you just want me to help you start your, I don't know, there's a way that you you will write an email that somebody will know you're serious and there's a way that somebody will just know you're unserious. And I can't give you a business idea. I just need you guys to understand that I can't be the one to tell you, oh, start selling um lip gloss or start selling you just need to find something that you're passionate about i feel like how i know that everything that i'm doing is meant for me is that when i start talking about it like i can literally talk about it for hours and hours and not be tired like for example youtube i'm so passionate about youtube and what i do that i can talk about it for hours you can ask me questions and i'll just be talking and talking and talking that's how you know that <laughs> you are in the right place or in the right niche and everything and i just feel like in this generation we owe ourselves because of because of the endless possibilities and social media is free 
the endless possibilities and endless opportunities i just feel like we owe ourselves financial um, independence and i feel like everybody deserves financial independence and if i can help trust me i will help in any way i'm not going to hold back any knowledge or anything that i know about it because there this guy is so big there's room this guy in kaduna is not the same sky in abuja <laughs> Is it the same? I don't know. <laughs> but then you just understand what I'm saying. Like there's space for everybody. There's space for every everybody. Like there's a very saturated business. A business that is so saturated that I'm planning to go into. And I know that if I go into that business, I will still succeed. I know because why? Because I'm a child of God and because I am going to succeed. So I know that I'm going to succeed. So I hate it when I hear people say, oh, so many people are doing this, so many people are doing that, so I'm not going to do it. That's honestly your own cup of tea. That's honestly your problem. Go into it and tell yourself, me, I'm going to start it and I'm going to succeed. And yeah, I don't want to, if not, this video will just turn into a business advice video. And I know that this video is already almost 20 minutes, even you know, more than 20 minutes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ra, 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 ra,